Now, anti-corruption advocacy group Social Economic Rights and Accountability Project Serap has urged the Attorney General and Minister of Justice Abubakar Malami to enter a Noel Perez queue to terminate the charges filed against the convener of Revolution Now protests Omoyele Showare and Olawale Bakare alias Mandate. In an open letter on Sunday by its Deputy Director Kolawale Oludare, Serap said the charges which center on insulting President Muhammad Buhari would only make a mockery of the Nigerian criminal justice system. Sarap advised Malami to activate his power of null perescu under section 174 of the constitution to terminate the charges against Shaware and Mandate and several other similar trumped up cases going on in several states. Now with me in the studio is a political analyst Chukuma Ephraim Okenwa to make sense of all of this. Uh, welcome. Yeah, thank you so much. All right. So it's past 45 days after the detention of uh, Shawore. What do you think will happen next will be my first question. Uh, well, uh, I think uh, uh, detaining him beyond 45 days, it's least expected. Uh, being that by the uh, virtue of the provisions of the constitution, in fact, the maximum uh, detention allowance should have been uh, within 48 hours. Mm -hmm. You know, but uh, be it as it is, uh, the FG was able to secure a detention order, and for five days it's passed. But what is more worrisome, because I am happy, of course, uh, he's been given an opportunity to have a few days in the court. But what is one more worrisome is the fact that it is suggestive that the for five days was to come up with Trump up charges mm -hmm. against him. It looked like it's an afterthought to come up because we're looking at those charges is not in any way consistent mm. with what purportedly the movement uh, sought to achieve, you know, which is to uh, advocate for good governance and speak against several issues that are happening in the nation. Mm. And look at the instance of kidnapping on safe highways. You know, these things are happening. And the beauty of democracy, it's, you know, just like Obia Ezekwensi puts it, he said democracy and voice, they are CMS twins. Mm -hmm. You can't separate it. So the beauty of democracy is the freedom of speech. And like I would love to put it, if people will have to pay to speak in a democracy, I think Shawere can afford to pay. Mm, interesting. And then you've heard the Serap also come out to say, you know, detaining him is a mockery of our criminal uh, justice system. What, what do you say to It that? is indeed. Because what we are talking about here is a civil case. We have the right to protest. Mm -hmm. As citizens that are civically engaged, for crying out loud, the person we are talking about here, you know, it's a presidential candidate that ran under a particular party. He's a responsible citizen. He passed through all of the screening. And then as somebody that is civically engaged, he felt, you know, as, as, as a moral obligation to lend his weight to the several happenstances in the nation, which every reasonable professional and citizen that feels same should also do the same. Mm. You understand? So this issue of like trying to silence dissenting voices is not good for our democracy. And that also should remind us about some people that are actually missing because they are vocal on platforms advocating for good governance. Mm -hmm. That is not healthy at all. Where we have like miscreants receiving pardons, state pardons, and even like the president being had, you know, uh, saying that maybe one of those miscreants could even become president. So if those ones can be, you know, uh, recognized once more as citizens, what about people who all the while has, you know, have a good track record of standing in for things that has to do with nation building? Mm -hmm. I hear you. Now, um, last week also we saw that there was a sealing up of uh, the Sahara reporters' uh, premises and, you know, report, uh, policemen were visibly seen in the premises. Do you think that's the best way? What, is that the right move to take, so to speak? <laughs> it's not the right, of course. Attempts to gag the media. Right? The media represent the voice of the people, the concerns of the people. Mm -hmm. It represents truth. It represents justice. And one thing about the truth is like open wound. Right? You know, the conscience is like open wound. Only the truth can heal it. So a situation where you try to gag the media, it's not the way to go. You understand? And then as a matter of fact, people, a group of persons who are concerned, came up with a dead and said, okay, we want to do this. It doesn't call for, it's not a security threat. So allow them to express themselves. Government should, you know, uh, deploy the approach of dialogue 
to resolving issues. Mm -hmm. You know, the numerous issues are coming up in the nation instead of, uh, you know, attempting to uh, silence dissenting voices. Mm -hmm. It's not healthy. It's not consistent with global best practices. Mm -hmm. Finally, now talking about dialogue, there's been some conversation in different quarters saying with the way showeress issue has been handled, you know, people fear that it, you they, they may not just be able to call for protest. It's, it's a way of not allowing people to express themselves. Do you share in that? Well, you, you know one thing. One thing about ideology is that when the person, right, the person that the owner of the ideology goes through suffering or even exterminated in some cases, you cannot kill an ideology. Mm -hmm. And the simple truth is that it's only a sign of what could possibly happen. And what I would have expected is the government to see this as a red alert and make some necessary adjustment. Because the simple truth is that it's only a three that you keep cutting down and then it, it can't do anything. Mm. But for humans, as people go through situations, you know, in situations of insecurity and challenges, a time comes where people naturally start revolting. You know, wise man puts it this way. Those who make peaceful resolutions impossible make violent revolution inevitable. Mm. And so the government should see it as an early signs, early warnings, right, you know, of things that need to be addressed before it starts escalating. Mm. All right. Thank you very much, uh, you Mr. So Kenwa, for Thank sharing you. your thoughts there.